103 FM. Tim Hartnett wanted me to wind up his brother James Hartnett from Straw Hall in Monkstown. Now James is a man not to be messed with, so I was taking my life in my hands. Good morning to everybody in Cork working on the construction industry, because I believe every site in Cork was uh, shut down uh, for James. He's that well known. James Hartnett from Monkstown. Hello. Hello, I'm looking for a James Hartnett, please. Yes, yeah, speaking. Of Millswood Straw Hall, Monkstown. That's correct, yes, yes. Hello, how are you, sir? That's well, and yourself? I'm Grand Tom Fletcher calling. I'm a planning officer of Cork County Council. I'm oh, yes, how are we doing? Seconded to the roads department. I'm calling in relation to a complaint we've had about some activities on a road in Monkstown. Um, yeah. From one of our county engineers, where apparently you were driving a track machine. That I was driving a track machine. That you drove a track machine up the road. Um, track machine not taxed, nor, nor meant to be on the public road. And um, subsequent I, damage. I, I, I see you were the wrong man now, it's there. Uh, Jesus. No, I'd say you were the wrong person, do you? I don't, I'd say. Because. You, did you have a rented track machine? Would you turn down that music? Uh, geez, I'd say you're the wrong person, uh, I I I have a rubber tire at Mini Digger. Yeah, I've a, I've a rubber tire 6 ton digger. Does the name Seamus Ferguson mean anything to you? Seamus Ferguson, no. Would that be a name you gave on this day last week when you were stopped by one of our county engineers illegally taking a track machine up a road in Monkstown? What's your name? My name is Tom Fletcher. Yeah, yeah. Hall. Uh, we've had a number of complaints about your activities in general. Um, you have a number of complaints? We have a number of complaints about your antics and activities in the area. Um, we, we have one about a certain wall you're building around your property. Yeah. And we have one specific one to say that this track machine, you were seen driving it. Even though you gave a false name, you were seen driving it, causing damage to a water main, which is still to this day out of action on that road. Well, no, my dear man, if you want to go down the road, uh, my name is uh, James Hatness, as you have. I know, I have that. Right? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, hold on now. Were you driving a rented track machine last day? Hold on now. Excuse, uh, excuse me, don't ever take... Oh, excuse me. I have my facts and figures here in front of me, Mr. Hatt. You can have all the f- facts and figures you want, right? Excuse me, no. Uh, my, my solicitor is Peter Fleming in the sofa, and I did not touch no f- walkman in that hill. Right? Go on, go on. The, hold on now. Are you, that water main was broke three weeks before I ever went uh, up that so that's, that's a standard answer now. I don't expect... Hold on now. Hold on now. Court of law now. Court of law and we'll go down to court of law with you, Mr. Fletcher. And I guarantee in the next half an hour I'll find out who you are. Is there a man building a house beside you? Who that's would... irrelevant to me. He's trying to give him... You know, I thought, how am I supposed to stop a man building a... No. Uh, and, and are you building walls in contravention of planning uh, around that? I have, how the f*** are you building a wall in contravention of planning? You can build, that, that man is building the wall. It's his it's boundary wall. How the f*** am I building it? Look, I tell you now, I have my facts and figures here in front of me. Oh, you can have all the facts and figures and in if I, if I go to court with you, by God... No, I don't think you want to be going to court with me because pay. I tell you one thing, I tell you I'll be up in the high court in the morning. Because by... You're f- you, yeah, what? Huh? You, I'll be up in the high court in the morning. You, you don't know what you're talking about at all. You'll pay my travelling expenses if I have to do it. Oh, I'll pay you. F- Come Where down you? here now and I'll pay you travelling expenses. Where are you? I'll, 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 I'll put you in this travelling into the regional hospital. That's threatening. That's threatening. Yeah, you, yeah? Well, you're threatening me. That I'm you, not you, you, threatening you at all. I'm just... You, asking, you know f- all about... I'm asking f- to tell the truth, which is probably beyond you. Where are you I, driving? Uh, what do you mean? Were you driving a track machine this day last week and did you do damage to a road in Monkstown? Go oh, yes. f- You're taking the piss. And giving Thank the name you. of Seamus Ferguson. And never, never happened at all. Never happened at all. No. And and what about the our engineer who says it was you? And then we've so. Well, what's your engineer's name? We, we've subsequent his. I can. Give what's it, your engineer's name? His name is Ryan. I tell you one, you know, uh, my solicitor's in this old man there, and I, I, I think you'll be better off going on him. That doesn't scare me in the least, now, Mr. Hartnett. I'm used. My to, dear man, I'm well, used to dealing uh, with the likes of you. Hold on now, two seconds. I have another uh, solicitor up in Dublin if you want to get on to him either. Oh, is that supposed to scare me? I'm used to... I don't with... care. I will uh, I tell you, don't be ringing me at all. I'm used to dealing with cowboys like you, believe me. Huh? I'm used to dealing with cowboys like you. Don't, don't I me. only mean I'm a f- cowboy. Who else would do damage to a road with, with, with a machine that's not even taxed? A rented machine from a reputable dealer down in Glanmire? And you're t- you giving false names? A reputable dealer? For Christ's sake, you wouldn't put that thing in the Vincent Valley and f***ing Manhattan. And no insurance. For Christ's sake, there was only a piece of scrap. So you do admit you were driving it in. Now we have you. Oh, no, no. There was only a piece of scrap. I'm way too smart for you, Mr. Hartnett. Don't you worry. 
I know you and I know your type, don't worry about that. How do you know you know my type? I know your type very well. Why you don't know my type at all, I tell you that now. And, and, and what's that supposed to mean? Why I tell you, honey, if you if you something to do, come down here now, I tell you. I, I'll come uh, down to you, and I know your type very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come down, you know where I, if I'm living, you know where I live and come down. I know exactly where you live. And you want me going too far out of it. And I know your type. You won't be going too far out of it, so I tell I you, won't be le- you won't be leaving in town, I tell you that. Oh, that's an awful threat to be making. Yeah, well, uh, look, I, 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 that's not a threat at all, that's a promise, my friend. No, one of me, go in, no, he's f***ing lying me, he's flitting me, ass. Good luck. Hello? Hanging up the phone, I told you you were a cowboy. And I tell you, I know your type very well. I tell you why. What? I know your type very well. How do you know my f- type? Because I know your brother, Tim. Yeah? And he's the man who wrote into me and asked me to give you a bit of a wind-up. It's Mick Mulcahy on Cork's 96 FM, James. I t- Mulcahy, if that's f- you, Muggs, I swear to f- I'll f- kill you if it is. Ah, come on, it's only for a laugh. Mulcahy, if that's f- you, Muggs, I swear to f- I'll kill you. Tim put, Mick, me up. Tim put me up Mick, to it. is that you? It is, James. How's it going? You're some f- I swear to God, I just love it. I f- you're some f- f- It is your brother, uh, Tim. Uh, I f- him, f- but uh, you're some, p- you're some. P- I swear to God, the next time you're in the most zone, in you, f- you. F- <laughs> I'll see you, James. Good luck, mate. All the best. Bye bye.